Have you ever found yourself under so many pressures that it feels as if, however hard you work, you just can't keep up? Just when you think you've finished the day's work, there's another call, another task. Just when you've got home and you're ready to relax, there's another email demanding immediate attention. Sometimes you can be so busy making a living that you hardly have time to live. That, according to Maimonides, is what the chauffeur on Rosh Hashanah is about. It's a wake-up call saying, stop for a moment and open your eyes to what you're doing and ask, is this really the way to spend a life traveling so fast that you never have time to enjoy the view? Life. That's the key word of the Yom Narayim, the holy, holiest days of the Jewish year. Listen to that fourfold repetition in the one sentence prayer we say repeatedly from Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur. Zachreinu Lachaim, remember us for life, O King who delights in life, and write us in the book of life for your sake, God of life. Life in Judaism is God's greatest gift, the one he gives to us, each of us, on equal terms. Because however rich we are, however powerful or successful, there are still only 24 hours a day, seven days in a week, and a span of years that's all too short. The chauffeur, according to Maimonides, is God's way of saying to each of us, you want another year of life? Well, how did you use the year I gave you last year? Did you just spend it? Or did you use it well? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. Maimonides, I think, was hinting at something people have always done, and we're still doing it today. We mistake the means for the end. We focus on the how, but not the why. Let me give you a tiny example. In London, where Elaine and I live, there are some wonderful cars. There are four-wheel drive MPVs you can take to the Sahara Desert or the North Pole. There are sports cars that can go from zero to 100 miles an hour in less than six seconds. Every one of them is a miracle of technology. 150 years ago, all there were on the roads were horses and carriages, as low-tech as it gets. 150 years ago, the average speed of traffic in London was 10 miles an hour. Today, the average speed of traffic in London is, you guessed it, 10 miles an hour. A car is a device to get from A to B. Yet at some point, people got sidetracked, and so a car became a status symbol. A way of saying, my car is bigger or faster or smarter, or perhaps just plain more expensive than yours. That's what happens when you mistake the means for the end. That's a small example. Here's a big one. Ask most people why they want money, and the answer, one way or another, comes back in terms of happiness. The more money we have, the happier we'll be. Well, today we are more affluent than any generation in the history of the world. The average person in the West today can do things, buy things, travel to places that would have been out of reach of the richest of the rich a century ago. But are we happier? Well, there's more drug and alcohol abuse, more stress-related syndromes, more depressive illness than there was then. And for more than half a century, those figures have been rising with each decade. It's like the story of the rabbi who took a year out to contemplate the state of the universe. After a year, he finally reached his conclusion. He looked up at heaven and said, Rebbeinu Shalala, Master of the Universe, life is good. But tell me, Master of the Universe, if things are so good, how come they're so bad? The best answer I can give is that we keep mistaking the means for the end. We concentrate so hard on the journey that we forget where we're trying to get to. The chauffeur on Rosh Hashanah is God's call reminding us why we're here, to do good to others, 
to be a source of blessing to the world, to thank God for what we have, not to spend our lives worrying about what we don't have, to give, to forgive, to love. This Rosh Hashanah, may our eyes be opened to the beauty of God's world. May our hearts be thankful that we're here to enjoy it. May we rush less and love more. May it be a, a year of blessing for you, for us, and for the world.